In this video, I destroy my enemies with a tank that cost $1,500. This is the infamous Pakuma. Right, you hurt me again, Forrest. This is actually a good one for us, I would say. But we are covering ground so fast, dude. This is about 1,500 euros gets you, right? You gave me a fright, EBR. And decent enough cover. That's the one. Perfect. That's the guy I never shot earlier. Stupidly. Right, he's dead. There we go. Right, okay. Constant ticket lead now for quite some time. Oh my goodness. Um, This isn't very good, is it? Uh, Gaijin? Please? No. I thought I was about to get a, a light sprinkling of Stalin's finest high explosive. Right. In a bit. Right. It's a big boy too. Non-10 on the... Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing the Pag Puma. Been putting this off for a long while now, like two years or something. Uh, this is one of the most powerful vehicles in War Thunder, pound for pound, BR for BR. And it really reflects on its marketplace price. Uh, here. Now before I get into a couple of games where I got a triple ace in each, uh, we'll cover the marketplace price here. So here you see uh, 1765 is what someone is offering theirs for and someone's actually put a thousand dollars already into the marketplace to put a buy order on. Uh, and if you see here on the whole time, uh, the most someone has ever paid so far is $1,500, probably a skinner, and the cheapest it's ever been is around about $19, I think. Yeah. That's a lot of money. So what makes this thing so lucrative and cost so much? Well, it's the really fast Puma chassis that used to be 3.0, by the way. It has now worked its way up to 4.0, and I believe in the next week or so it will be at 4.3. Not that it will change its performance or its lineup. 4.3 Germany is still a very strong contender uh, at pretty much the best nation in the game at that BR. But its speed compared with its firepower is really where it shines. This thing has the L46 pack, which is a dedicated anti-tank gun, eh, as opposed to the thing that's on the Panzer 4G and F2, etc. But if you have a look at the shell here, eh, 151mm of penetration it does extremely well at angles, and it's got quite a lot of TNT inside. Now here is the Panzer Force cannon in comparison. Uh, it's about 50 meters a second slower, so thus has less penetration, but it's the exact same warhead. Now it really doesn't seem like there's that much of a difference between these two guns, but at long range specifically, it means that your trajectories a lot flatter firing, and you can easily knock out T-34s upper front plates, and the Shermans as well, at extreme long ranges as compared to the Panzer IV G. Now, couple this with scouting, uh, this makes this thing a wonderful vehicle to play. Uh, a little bit too good. I'm kind of glad it's going to 4.3 where it'll be, honestly, a lot more fairly balanced. That being said, though, the things that do get this thing killed more often than not are smaller vehicles like Sturts and BT-5s and anti-airs rather than bigger, meaner, tougher things like KV-1s. Although, it is pretty satisfying in this thing to take out that horrible KV-1E. There's in the Russian side. Now for the next couple of games I'm going to show you, I think 16 kills each, uh, big maps, which I deliberately hunted out uh, through the course of a day, just to show you how this thing can shine. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Right, big stinky map, dude. Do you know what's weird about Kursk, right? Every single time the sun is in my eye, every, every single time I play this, if you go back through my videos, it's either raining or the sun is in 
Am I? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna bother capping. My teammates can do that, right? We're just gonna head off this way and ship people like, across the railway. Are the enemies on sea already? It's probably a BT, right? Has to be. Maybe we got one railway crosser, which is an M10. Let's see if we get any more coming over here. We'll keep it. Uh, we'll keep at it on this side. Oh. Sherman. Oh, big Jungus. He's coming towards the house or is he waiting there? He's he, he coming, dude. So is a T-34 though. He's, he just crashed into this Sherman, this guy too. Uh oh. We'll play a game of hide behind. The house that hopefully the enemy team don't know it shoot behind all oh, them ten is upset. There's a couple of them actually. My teammates seem to be on it though. Is that a come up a friendly puma coming by? Where are you going? Right. Well that happened. My driver is red and so is my gunner. No, my loader. No, stop that. He's actually controlling his uh, 50 cal manually. So this guy knows what he's doing. We got B-cap though, which is alright. I don't think this guy's really paying attention here. He's scared him. He kind of moved. I got his commander though, so he can't 50 kill us anymore. This guy might double kill us if he decides to try and shoot through the building, right? I didn't scout him because I'm stupid. And I definitely should have. I can't beat him. I'm going to have to wait till our teammate comes along to deal with that M10. And like I said, I was an idiot and didn't scout him, so I can't... I can't drop artillery on him or nothing right now. Where did that guy go? He's on the... Going backwards and forwards here. Right, there goes the M10. That dude's still scared. This one isn't. There's a couple of things scared here. Oh, I'm actually surprised I got that shot. But there you go. He did. Not surprised I got that one. Is are the enemy team on this side? Yeah, they are, and one of them just got got. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave out this way for a little while. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping my team has got that under control over there. They should do. Let's go have a big over on A. See if anyone's coming up this hill. Oh, I heard somebody firing. Oh God, another M10. Look. How about that? No track armor, so not a fully modified M10. Oh, jeez, Louise! Oh, we are we are in danger now. Let's range find this in, right? I think it's 1100. 1250. That bomb is for me. Yeah. Okay, for a life. Right, this dude's coming up the hill too. And what are you, a T-34? Yoink them. I'm still really worried about this plane though. He's no bully plane. He's no bully. It's a wyvern. Is that a wyvern? Yeah. Definitely is. Right, look. There's still an enemy medium here, and that Sherman's still alive there too. Right, that's one Sherman gone. He is delete. There's a little bump here that we'll be able to see this. Oh, there's another one here too. Another M10. Oh, 
I'll have to do. It's a little chaffy here. Biggest, thickest. That's not it. That's not going to be an easy shot. More than heat. I still haven't been spotted by a plane, funny enough. That was rubbish. We'll try again. If I hit this guy's 50 with a heat shell, it'll overpressure him. Yeah, there we go. Oh no. Ooh, he got my barrel. Right, well. We are out of here. Oh, okay. My teammate killed the Sherman that we crit earlier. This guy is really upset. Right, repairing. 11 seconds, that's not a long repair. Oh. What's up, little dude? I didn't scout him, by the way. 3, 2, 1. Spin. Come on, spin. Good. Right, how did you get here? Without either seeing me or being killed. I need to get to the A cap. But I'm definitely going to get strafed now. That Dekamax is going to make it. Right. Uh, we need a new plan. We need a new plan. The new plan is to kill this guy. Good shot. I'm going to have to aim a little bit further down this time. Am I missing a loader or what? No, he's just red, so it's taking a long while. Right, hey, what are we, what are we on, dude? We're, we're, we're like nuke level right now, but at the wrong BR. Right, we're decapping both caps. Oh. Here come the 50 cows. Lots of them, too. We got the we got the eight. This is where I die now, right? For absolute certain. Oh, it's a Lee. Right, he's dead. This is what I mean about why it's like a it's a an odd map, right? Where it's like the likelihood of it being like a fun brawl is very small. But you gotta you gotta make make it work, right? Oh Chromi. It's starting to run out of ammo too. Whatever you say, then. Right, we are. An M10 there. I think we're doing alright. Team wise. This tank might be a little bit busted, by the way. And. There's still a lot of people left. Still a lot left. There's something on C. An Achilles. An Achilles. Chad's GG. Right, this side is going to be our biggest concern. But I really want to kill the thing that's on C too. I I'm honestly... I'm astonished I've not been killed by a plane. Our is near. It's looking good. Yeah, that's a good hit. That's a good hit, dude. We almost got him with that shot. Still pretty clear on that side. Uh-oh. Another Chungus. And I think... Is that Chaffee sitting in the smoke? Yeah, he is. Oh, dear. We're going to have to do a curvature of the earth shot here. Quite short, but not very much. Six rounds left, right? Now, a tiny bit short again. 
There goes the chappy. Oh, that was a really inaccurate fire. I think I was just, I spammed too many rounds at one time. Use your 50 cal. 50 cal, 50 cal. Never mind. Oh, where did you come from? Hey, right, this, this, this tank destroyer down here has been a real pain. I think this is the Achilles from earlier. This range is in. 900, right? Or 1,000. Oh, we are near, then. Two shells. 11.50. I've got one more to do the kill. Undamaged. I can kill him with a smoke, right? It will be very funny if I do. Oh, that's APCR. Wait, his breach is out. Wait, they took A back. But we're going back then. We're going back. Oh my god, there are so many people. Oh my god, what is this? Our team. I'd be better off on a plane right now, to be honest with you, with this lack of ammunition situation. Right, there, there he goes, right? There he goes. Uh oh. The, the ultimate killing machine is here. I did say we'd be better off on a plane anyway. We'll bring a duck. But there's a Yak 9 up. Do you need to aim higher up? Aim higher up, dude. There you go, you got me. Well done. That was fun, kind of just roaming around like that. For for absolute certain it was. Right, there's a M19 up. And there's only four enemies left. And that looks like a... I... British twin engine fighter? Yeah, no defensive gunner. Nearly. He's rattling off his 20 miles right now. Whoa! The M19 is upset. We're gonna break off. I think the Yak is coming for me too, right? I think we're about to win. Oh, was pathetic. There we go, <laughs> with the big gun. Now, where's this M19 at? Where are you at, M19? Actually, I have no idea. Oh! Found them. Or he found me, anyway. Right, we're back on A, and I think that's going to be game. That was cool. Finished that game off with a 75mm cannon kill. Right, Maginot. I actually really like Maginot. And I will especially like it in this vehicle. We're going to push up to the right flank here. We will probably run into ASU 57s and stuff on the same line. We got Britain as well, which means Sarks. Really, this is a really tough combination to beat. So we might need to handle a lot of this ourselves. Uh, actually, probably the vast majority of it. And a lot of these people in the enemy team are in squadrons. And generally, if you're in a squadron, you're not a new player. I'm in a bad mood as well because... I had a really fun game on one of my favourite maps that I couldn't wait to put to edit and there's no microphone audio and when I back, went back to all the other recordings no microphone audio there either if anyone knows of a reputable company in the UK that wants to work with me to build me a PC I will pay for it uh, but if it fails in any way I get to kill the member of staff that built it how's that sound? not, not just memeing I was trying to, not trying to, trying to be funny, but at the same time, eh, really need a piece of hardware that won't let me down. It would be also nice if we could get scouting that works in War Thunder, right? That'd be pretty cool. You're gonna disappear back down here and pop up elsewhere. Get rid of the scouter. Hello, little guy. That doesn't have scouting, no. And he just died. Anybody else gonna come over here and help, or...? 
something. Right. We've cleared out most of this. Except there's still somebody on C. Oh, you are scary. Okay, that didn't work. I did try and scout him through the ground, so that's fair this time. Right, we're good. This is uh, this is what this thing was born to do, right? Oh, we're already on an ace. Very nice. Right, the enemy's got A, unfortunately. Definitely had some shooting over here. Where is he, though? I had to get him to face me first. I was about to hit my space bar. Right, six. Good. He's still in enemy hands, though. But so long as I don't let the enemy get to C or even back to B to reinforce it, then we should be pretty solid. That's a British Sherman. Post up in a different direction so I, I can bamboozle this guy. Oh, you're. Not a 76, thankfully. Oh, sorry, 57. Yeah, Driving an ammo, but I didn't get him. You leave my aeroplanes alone, I need them. Cannon barrel, I'll take it. Good stuff. Right, that... The T-34 should leave us alone now, I hope. As long as no one pushes me, we're okay. Maybe one. Mm, that, that is a concern. There's so many enemies. Another one down there. I kind of use in the gullies to get around. What? Something. Either hit him. Or he hit the ground when he fired. I'll start running out of shells soon. I just want a wee reach shot or something. Yeah, that's the one. Exactly what I was looking for. There's an M10 coming. This guy is the ultimate contender for sending me back to the hangar. Um, glad it's 50 cows out, but he can still shoot at me. He did. He still has a loader. That was terrifying. I thought we were dead there for sure. Right. And that KV and his buddy T-34 are now dead too. Good stuff. Oh, this has gone okay. Oh, double aced. And they've capped A again. I don't think we really need A as long as we can defend C and B. We are... I'm on the move, actually. Another M10, I think. It's scouted over here. A T-50. That's scary. That is really scary, actually. Where on earth is he? A T-50. Who would I be if I was a T-50? Pretty close, I would imagine. Although, it could have been a long ball. Yeah, he's very close, actually. He's right next to this Panzer IV that's not noticed. Where? Where did you go, little guy? A little did... Oh, okay. Ready, our fuel tank is not a great shot. Where are you, little T-50? I saw, I saw you popping up on the map. You're definitely over here. Okay, he just got shot. I think he's about to die, though. Yes, he is. 
God mercy. New plan. Try and get the A. Couldn't scout that shaman for whatever reason. That was looking very good, but a bit below the mark. That was a hit at least. Stop moving. M50 gals did. Goodness gracious, where did you come from? This is getting an absolute slaughter. Right, A. Uh oh. Enemy spotted. The, the penalty for a bad scout seems to be reduced quite a bit. God, this has been like the best map we could have possibly had for this. Good speed, great gun. Oh, great speed, great gun. A friendly's dropping arty on me. Yeah, that almost got me too. What was that? I got something. The enemy got back to sea. And a Cromwell just killed my teammate on B. So I know exactly where we are going right now. I just saw an enemy. It was like just facing into a spawn. Look, I'm alright. Hey, triple ace. B time. Here we go. He thought he four just picked up a teammate in our spawn as well. This is bizarre. A bizarre game. I think a lot of our teammates left thinking that we're gonna win. It's definitely not the case. This is not great, by the way. So I've got a T-34 and a Cromwell uh, to deal with. And I've got one good shell left. So it's not great. The M4's dead. There's our Cromwell. Loading heat, I guess. I've got two heat shells. Okay, my teammates on that. We're gonna at least decap this B cap. Stop our ticket bleed, and then we're gonna chase that Cromwell with a heat. Hopefully, this T 34 doesn't show up, right? Ah, there he goes. Right, let's cap this. That was crazy, dude. That was crazy. Wait. 16 kills. Did I... Did I not kill that T30, uh, KV-1 up here? I killed this KV-1, right? Yeah, he's dead. So... What happened? Exactly. I'm absolutely baffled. I thought I, thought I had 15 kills when we were coming over the hill, no? Like... Another zone captured. We have the, the Sherman... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the KV-2 is my 15th kill. A hurricane just stacked into the earth. Right, give me give me one more of these. Let's go back to A. That's my breach. She made absolutely no noise at all, sir. Sneaky boy. I didn't die, though. GG. Thank you very much for hanging out today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a wee like. I know that it's like, I get a lot of comments about me playing pay to win stuff, right? But I'm just playing a few games to showcase a vehicle. Uh, that's how she goes. Thank you guys for hanging out today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a wee like. If you're not already subscribed, I put a lot on the video every single day. Also, uh, you can pick up my little decal. I'll put the link in the description and in the pinned comment below. It's kind of a limited edition. There's a new one coming very shortly and you'll be able to keep this one should you buy it. Also, a huge thank you to all my patrons on Patreon. Uh, a few new people signed up uh, yesterday as well. So thank you guys very much for that as, uh, too. Uh, honestly, I'm overwhelmed with the support over there. Uh, it's highly appreciated. It makes up pretty much the majority of my income. 
uh, which is super cool of you guys. So thank you very much. A huge shout out to all the tier threes as well. That's Bilka the Tactical Broccoli, Matthew S, Jesse Mills, the Tackle Guy, Toast McGee, and a Stormwind, Brahma Nation, Sexy Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gifted Greed, Handsome Tortilla, Ken the Soul Lord, Kino Subasa, Lord Draven, Ralph, Ride, Stoyan, Tactonic, the Fire Paper, Trash Panda Varian, Warpig Zimmer, Yok Boshaf, Jesse Bisma, Mortan and Jay Tormey, Mr. Buzzwell, Shmoo, and Stuart Netherton. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love. And bye-bye. Don't buy this for $1,500. Please don't.